I know it's happened before, but it's still a very rare occurrence when in the middle of an IPL, a captain says, you know what, I think I've had enough. Or maybe the captain believes that he's not contributing to the side, which is what I suspect has happened with Gautam Gambhir. Because I've got a lot of time for him as a person, I'm going to look at this issue uh, in a little more rounded form. Let's go back to what happened while the auction was on. There were teams that went into the auction knowing who their captain was. There was Rohit Sharma, there was MS Dhoni, there was Virat Kohli. There were a couple of franchises that weren't quite clear who their captain was. There was KKR, there was Kings Eleven, and there was Delhi Daredevils. Now, you had three franchises in search of a captain and you had a captain in search of a franchise because it was very clear that Gautam Gambhir was not going to be in KKR's long-term plans. That left two franchises. Delhi Daredevils thought they had the perfect fit. Why did they think they had the perfect fit? He's been one of the greats of the IPL as Gautam Gambhir. Led them for 120 odd matches, but also as a batsman, last year he had contributed 498 runs at 128. That's a magnificent IPL. So it all seemed just right. Ricky Ponting has coached Gautam Gambhir as captain, but a year is a long time in your career when you've moved past a certain age. Gautam Gambhir is 36. If you're 23 years old and you've had a couple of failures, no one looks at you that closely. When you're 36, with every failure, the cameras are focused on you. When Gautam Gambhir got out with that pull shot that only went as far as mid-wicket, was he getting late on the shot? Gautam Gambhir's strike rate is 70, 75, 80. Is he, is he past his prime? And so the questions start to mount. It didn't help that the Delhi Daredevils wanted this to be their big breakthrough season and that didn't happen either. And suddenly midway through, you're thinking, right, is Gautam Gambhir now suddenly a liability? Was he a liability as a captain? No. Was your liability as a batsman? Maybe they started to think that way. Which is what leads me to think, what is the future for Gautam Gambhir? It's very difficult to come back at 36. It's very difficult to come back when you are still a good enough captain, but you're not pulling your weight in the side as a batsman. And that is why I greatly fear we might have, we might have seen the, well, the best of Gautam Gambhir at 36 is already past him, but I fear we may not see him again. And if that does happen, I think we need to cast aside what's happened in the last four readings and say that Gautam Gambhir has been fantastic for India. 2007, 2011, all those hundreds in New Zealand, he was fantastic. I Sehwag yesterday and he said he enjoyed batting with Gautam Gambhir. For KKR alone, magnificent captain. I want him to come back, but sentiment doesn't always work in sport. I'd love him to come back and crack a 35 of 20 balls and say, thank you, gentlemen, I'm going back with a head held high. It doesn't always happen in sport. But it's, it's a brave decision. I don't know if it was a Delhi Daredevils decision as much as it was a Gautam Gambhir decision, but you've got to accept people's word for it in these situations. But I, I think it's a fantastic decision. It's entirely in keeping with the Gautam Gambhir that I've known over the last 15 years and have grown to admire as a person. So I'd love that to be another little flicker, but even if there isn't one, I think we should say well played.